Hey guys, Sammy here. Welcome, Padido. To pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to pa pa. Hey guys, welcome. How you doing? See me here, party do. To pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to. Between three pedals, which is they are double pedal and the hi hat. But the trick here, what I do, technique wise, I play. The hi hat pedal with my heel like this. So you can see the motion. So the way I hit the heel. So that means the positioning of the pedal of the my feet on the pedal works like this. To pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to high head adjust oh, that's a push that's a put the motion the heel slamming the pedal and then I go back into the position original position. To pa to to pa to pa pa. Okay. One more time. Okay. That's the uh, the the actual pattern, and the key is not to have the mouth here wide open. It's about my thumb. I don't know, maybe an inch and something, which is otherwise it gets really tricky. If you if it's wide, I mean really wide, it's much harder to play with your heel. So don't leave it open too too wide, okay? And spend time slamming. So spend time by just one position. Turn one, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, three, four. One, two, three, three, four. And every time you play, you come back to on your sleeve paddle on this one. Every time you play, you just pivot, play, back. Pivot. Play back. Pa pa pa. 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 Get two notes. Pa pa pa. 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 Pa pa. Pa, 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 pa. Always come back into uh, back to the original position. Pa pa pa. Pa pa pa. Pa pa pa. Pa 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 pa. Pa 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 pa. Okay. So that's the idea. And also, I'm doing it the wrong way slightly, but try not to make the beta move. So the beta. See what you see the motion. I st these people stay well away and doesn't hit the uh, the actual. You see, you hear? There's no stroke coming from the beta. You 
says so you need to try to find a way to hit and this even though it's it moved forward but it never actually hit the skin or the rubber here okay you can see so you need to really exaggerate the position of your feet it has to be slave pedal pivot hit and lift lift this as high as possible so that means you will avoid the actual stroke strike on the rubber otherwise you're going to get this this can you hear we don't want this we want this okay and the position the hit the heel you hit this surface this one okay. not this otherwise nothing's going to happen so the heel has to hit that surface if i hit that surface nothing's happening so if i'm thinking about this area that's the target this area that's the target okay so you what you could do maybe you can spend some time by just the left foot this is my pad we're gonna play one one two one two one two back to the position one two one two three one two and every time you have to come back to the position okay one two one two one two one two and uh and it's a tricky one because you need to develop this kind of it's a gentle you have to be gentle because it's so easy to make those pedal those beat to move and uh and strike and do the right the wrong pattern if you know what i mean so practice as, as much as you want back to position and never touch the rubber okay practice this for a while and when you cool we're gonna go to actual coordination practice i'm going to show you a few examples of how to apply different type of coordination and, and independence exercise to be able to have more freedom to play complex pattern because i've noticed sometimes on the internet on social media you've seen many people playing complex pattern with their feet uh, fast single but everything is based on single what i mean is one guy playing this do it slowly the his hand do this usually they do this or they play something faster which is the family which is the family of this the same family you know what i mean by the same family i'll do it again okay that's one member of the family second member third member fourth member the same it's the same family what would be a different type of family would be this 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 and this they are not from the same family and it gets really tricky so for instance if we're gonna do that into the context of a double pedal double bass drumming you play single you groove the same family for the hi-hat would be or a different family would be or or another different family you see what i mean it's all different and this is require more coordination and independence and practice 
that it makes the the actual playing very interesting okay so going back to the um, the paradido with the high head first the start of the hand then we're gonna go unison stroke same sticking unison stroke same sticking Slowly. And stay there for a while. Stay there for a while. And then you go back to the hands. Feet. So now you're cool, you know what to do. And then when you're ready, you use the click to play quarter notes or eight notes. Not too fast, I'm gonna go for 90. To pa to to pa to pa pa to 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 pa to. This is gonna help you develop more coordination and independence. To pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to to pa to to pa to pa pa to and then you go to the left to pa to to pa to pa pa okay and you you carry on like that for some time let's do it again one more time which is right and left right two three then we're gonna go left. And then we're gonna go eight notes. For the left, one, two, three, four. Then unison, unison true. Right and right, unis right, unison stroke and left. So practice this for a while, and this is going to help seriously help your independence. Then, when you're ready, you play almost like the um, uh, what do you call that? The uh, cross stick with eight notes. The same thing. This is the next stage. This open the. This will open the door to the back beat. That you're gonna have later on. That the idea. To pass to the party, papa, to pass to the party, papa, to pass to the party, papa, and then to pass to the party, papa, to pass to the party, papa. That's the idea. So, cross take, two, three, four, to pass to the party, to pass to the party, to pass to the party, to pass to the party. Okay. 
Okay? When you're ready, you can bring another type of variation. If you can, and you take your time and recite the phrase. Recite the phrase for a long time, recite or sing the phrase for a long time before attempting playing it. Three, three, one. To pa to to pa to pa pa to 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 pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to pa to pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to to. Okay. on as long as possible and uh, until you really feel comfortable and then play with me practice with me to pa to to pa to pa pa to pa to pa to pa pa to pa to to pa to to pa to pa pa I can do it slowly, much more, much slower. One, two, three, four. And you speed up, okay? And then you speed up, and spend some time on that. Don't forget, it's it's a journey, so it's not about rushing and being quick and being the fastest. It's about um, enjoying the journey of the practice. And um, it took me a while, seriously, it took me a while to feel comfortable. But music often is, and practicing, it's about enjoying the journey, okay? So don't feel frustrated. And also, frustration is part of the game anyway. So getting used to feeling uncomfortable. It's about feeling comfortable being uncomfortable, okay? So when you tour, you introduce a bad beat. Achieve this level, you need to spend time practicing the uh, for the eight note value, which is to ta to to ta to ta ta because the sixteen ta 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 and then the reaching the um, reaching year 16 okay so you understand it takes time 
So get used to the uh, the eight to the eight note value. Okay. Well, I hope you did like the uh, the lesson. Subscribe, like, and remember. Send me uh, an email to cmed.com and cmed, S-I-E-M-Y-D-I.com, cmed.com, and I will answer, and um, I hope to see you very soon. And let me know what you would like to see, and like I said before, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. That's what's really count. And, and also, feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel uncomfortable or try to be comfortable being uncomfortable, okay? A bientôt.